almost there. Stop for a while. Why are you tired? Kate, I'm sorry. I'm dying? Yes. How long do I have? It's a very aggressive form of lupus. A, a, a month, a week, what? Six months, maybe seven. I don't want to die. 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 Here. <laughs> Andy, what? if we stop every time you get the hots, we'll never see what we're here to see. I'm seeing everything I want to see right here. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> He's trying to smell you. Rattlesnakes smell with their tongue. He wants to know if you taste good. Why do you have him trapped in a cage? It's good for business. Some yahoo pulls up for gas, gets out to look at the snake. Once they're out, they buy something. Know what I feel? Nothing. Wanna know why? Keeps it mean. Hey, let me show you something you ain't never seen. What are you gonna do, fuck him? In a way. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just leave him alone? Because it's my snake. Now I call this condaloon. <laughs> yeah, that's good, isn't it? Sit 
see that? You see that? I fucked him all right. I fucked him. Mine fucked him. <laughs> You're sick, both of you. You know what I got here? I got here is real alien bones. <laughs> like cow bones. No, they're not. Hey, you know what else I got here? I got maps. I got maps of all ladies' UFO sightings. 20 bucks, come on. No, no thanks. No, 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 really, man. They're everywhere, but you won't know where to go unless you know exactly. What the hell? What the hell are you wait, doing? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, snake! No, just let it go! What the hell I will! You stupid hey, thing! Damn you, man! Stop you. it! You. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You know, the weird thing is, I wasn't scared. I just was angry. I wanted to hit him. You know what? You were right to do it. Fuck you. That's weird. I love it. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Somebody let out the psycho ward. God. Oh, no. Wait a minute, look at this guy. Now all he needs is a chainsaw and a hockey mask. I'll tell you what, what say we take a hard left and hit Padre Island, huh? Sun and surf, drink with umbrellas in them. What do you say? It's just the town. Once we get alone in the desert, it'll all be better. Oh, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Look for some place. Here, here's a cafe right here. Okay. Hey, take uh, any seat to pitch you. You okay? You have to stop asking me that. I know, I'm sorry. I'll mean anything by it. I know. I have to go to the bathroom. No purpose? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, this program, no purpose. Come on, Gosner, you had your shot and you blew it. I will not be canceled. Right, that can be your mantra while you pack. Not by you. You asked for rope. We gave it to you, all you wanted, and you couldn't pull it off. Now, I want a meeting with your staff to personally give them the word, and then I want the first flight back to D.C. I gotta take a dump. What can I get you? Uh, let me ask you something. Yeah, shoot. Everybody in this town a space nun? Oh, yeah, more or less. <laughs> you too? Well, maybe me more than anybody. I mean, I, uh, I came to Lowell 10 years ago because there have been more UFO sightings within these uh, 100 square miles around this town than anywhere else in the whole world. And the, uh, the Air Force guys at the base, they'll tell you that there's nothing. Oh, there's something. Yeah, the guy at the gas station wanted to sell me a map. Oh, yeah. Dietz is always uh, hustling something. Dietz is one fucked up individual. No, he's as skittish as all. Yeah. Anyways, uh, you don't need a map. You just go anywhere east of Groom Lake. You'll see him. We'll see UFOs. Well, only if you're looking. <laughs> right. And a monkey will jump out of my ass. Sorry. He's a doubter. Yeah, I can, I can see that. <laughs> That's okay, though. Look, all I'm saying is that if there are spaceships or whatever, and uh, someone other than these wackos would have seen them. No offense. 
Well, how about congressmen? Well, those are just elected wackos. Or a dozen chiefs of police, or the former head of medicine at Johns Hopkins. Yeah, or how about astronauts, or maybe like a hundred airplane pilots? Okay, how about just once these aliens show up at uh, Times Square, or the Super Bowl, where there's a hundred thousand people and a couple of dozen television cameras? Well, maybe they don't want to be that public, you know? I mean, maybe they want meetings to be more personal, one-to-one. -one. And you've had one of these meetings? Well, not yet, but I'm still hoping. Okay, look, if, if you ladies want to believe, then, you know, be my guest. You know, uh, you come back here and you see me after you spend a couple nights in the desert. Yeah, I'll do that. And bring the monkey. <laughs> right. Now, what can I get you? I'll have what he had. Oh, okay. Do you want uh, onions with that? Whatever. Whatever he's having. I want the glasses. I want the whole outfit. Okay. Um, well, I'll have a Mars melt, please. You little sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. That's great, Gosner. Are those the laser towers? Yeah. I gotta give you that one. Greatest misdirection of the century. Houdini couldn't have done it better. You fill the sky with this incredible laser light show and make people think they're seeing UFOs everywhere they look. It worked? Oh yeah, it worked. You fooled them all. You made them crazy. People are stupid. We're flying the B-1 and the stealth all over. Hundreds of test flights over two decades and not a single reported sighting. Now you know somewhere someone saw that big goofy looking B-1. Oh, they saw it all. Yeah, but every time you have a test flight, you fill the night sky with moving lights and make them think they're seeing UFOs everywhere. But the cold shit is, they actually were seeing the B-1, but those sightings got dumped in with the rest until it all became one big pile of tabloid bullshit, and the Russians never knew nothing. You did that good, Gosner. You fooled them all. And now, just so much obsolete techno trash waiting for a garage sale. Like me? You had a good run, Gosner. It's nothing personal. Bullshit. Everything's personal. How about there? That's where I want to spend the night. On top of that mesa with the entire world spread out beneath us. Okay. <laughs> mm. Shoot. What? It's not allowed. Good. Why good? We'll be alone. Mm -hmm. Now all we gotta do is find a hole. Make one. Let's see. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a wee bug, come on. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go, right here. No reception. There's a security comm block on all civilian traffic when there's a mission in progress. But there's no mission in progress. What are you up to? Commander Kent, you are needed in zone 45. Team 3, report to level 82. Dr. Marlene Coleman, please report to Zone 4. Sir. Commander Duncan, you have a call on Line 5. I want a staff meeting. All department heads. You'll stay with Captain Morgan. Where the hell are you going? Team, Gosner, answer me. 14. Screw him. Commander Kent. Where's the phone? I need to call Washington. In Sorry, zone? sir. Only official calls are authorized from this facility. I'm talking about an official call. This way, please. What am I, a friggin' prisoner? 
This is total nonsense. I want a goddamn phone. Do you know who I am? Everything's moved up. But I thought the Washington man was here to shut us down. Right now, our messenger is in storage. Irv, can we be ready in 24 hours? No. We need a calibration to run. We'd have to have a, a full record check, a complete cooling down. 36 hours. Could it go in 36 hours? That's insane. I have no options, Irv. Do you understand? All right. Well, then don't ask me. Just tell me how much time 36 we hours. Fine, we'll, we'll, we'll be ready. I want you to know who you're messing with. This is who I am. This is my authority. This is who you're holding prisoner. Prisoner? No, sir, absolutely not. We have a mission in progress. You can't move around the complex until you've been briefed. Then brief me. I'm not qualified. Lambert does the briefings. Bullshit. I'm being held prisoner. I know it and you know it. Sir, you are not a prisoner. Don't you leave this room. Don't you dare. It's just until the briefing. Time's up. In 36 hours, it's all over. We'll be shut down and everything will be exposed. You've kept your secret for a long time. I'm sorry about all this. My friend, your arrogance continues to amaze me. How can an apology be arrogant? Because it indicates that you believe you control events when you know none of us do. Only God. <laughs> your concept, not mine. Come on, my friend. Need to prepare you, hydrate you. You're gonna need all your strength. You want to get to heaven, you can't be afraid to die. God, I love you. Nothing. Try to think of 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got carried away. not come here for this. For what? To die together. Is that what you think I was doing? Was it? No, absolutely not. I wouldn't do that. Damn. OK, sit tight. I'm going to check it out. What are you doing? I I'm getting Stop. out of the car. No, you're, you're going to tip us over. I'm trying not to. Andy. Just. All right. It's going to be OK. I'm just going to check everything out here. See, I think there might be a way out of this. It's not as steep as I think. Yeah, it's okay. The slope's not too bad. We can we can drive it down. What? We, we can't drive down there. Oh, we can't stay here. We can't go up. No, let's just get out of the car okay. and walk. We're driving. <laughs> we will never make it. Kate, this has got a full roll cage, okay? It, it's heavy duty, everything. We're gonna make it. We'll never make it. Kate, stay in the car. Just. Stay in the car. All right. Look. Furnish yourself. Cross your arms, okay? Don't try to brace yourself. Just go with it. All right? Here we go. You ready? It's not gas, it's worse, it's coolant. Shit. Oh, God, I'm so stupid. I should have checked. The equipment's the most important thing. I never should have let you distract me. So this is my fault? No, that's not what I meant. That's what you said. No, all I meant was that you, you know, were the one that got all hot and bothered. Yeah, well, screw you. Oh, you see, that's what I'm talking about. No, I can't believe this. You, you make a mistake, a huge mistake, and blame me. Can't your ego let you admit that maybe once you made a mistake? I don't make mistakes. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. That's nice. Time hack. It is zero, three, zero, seven, Zulu. Security, check all stations. Initiate misdirect. Prepare to open outer doors. Clear all lines. I need to talk to Gosner. Now. We'll do. We'll stay here tonight. We'll hike out tomorrow. Sooner or later, we'll come to a highway, get the coolant and the hoses, and, uh, you know, a little Padre Island. What do you say? Look at that sky. It's amazing. <sighs> well, you got what you wanted. Dark night in the middle of nowhere. Mm. Thank you for bringing me here. Can I ask you something? Anything. Why was coming here so important to you? What do you see when you look up there? Uh, stars. Last streaks of light from the setting sun. Life? Up there? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. 
Andy, there's got to be life out there. Life that thinks and, and dreams and wonders just like we do. Why, sweetheart? I mean, why is that so important to you? Because we're the only ones. <laughs> the only ones among all those stars. And we're just an accident. Okay, so what? So when our sun burns out... In a million years, so don't worry about but it. But when it does, and life on this planet ceases to exist, then all that, that infinite space will be without life. Just so many dead rocks spinning in a void. But if there's other life out there, then it proves we're not an accident. If we're part of a process, a, a continuum as endless and timeless as space itself. And when I go, I go to join something. I might have tried to kill us up there. You know, I mean, not consciously, but tried to fix it so that we would die together. I know, I know. It's just my own selfishness, you know? I mean, being alone, losing you. Before we met, I was alone my whole life. And loneliness can be a scary thing. I mean, some people, they're afraid of crowds. Me, I'm just terrified of being alone. I don't know. I understand, because that's how I feel, too. I mean, that's what scares me the most about dying. The aloneness, being without you. Kate, it's like this. This pit in my stomach, you know, panic of fear. I just don't want you to leave me, you know? I just can't be without you. I can't. But, but, but maybe you won't. Maybe when I die, I, I become part of something else and Maybe we'll still be together. I want to hear something really pathetic. What? Uh, in junior high, our teacher used to make us read the Valentines we got out loud. We did that too. Yeah, well, uh... I used to write myself valentines so that no one would know how lonely I was. Is that pathetic or what? Mm. No. I wish I'd thought of that. Oh, you wouldn't have done that. Come on. I would have, too. Then everybody would have thought of me as Miss Popularity. Right. Well, you should have told me. I didn't know you. See, you've always got an excuse. <laughs> hey, you see that glow? That might be a ranch or something. I'm gonna go check it out. Maybe we won't have to walk to the highway. I'll go with you. No, 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 you stay here. Yeah, you watch the sky, you know? Look for your sign. I'll leave that here so I can find my way back. All right? I won't be long.
expect to see this. What are you doing? Cameras that fly. Why don't you go after it? You better not do this. Let me out of here. Gosser, go Preparing for launch. All systems online. We have a confirmed perimeter violation. Section Hotel Papa 63. Stop or I'll shoot! The intruder has been detained. Security, we have a problem.
intruder dug a hole, we will secure. Security. There is a second intruder. Looks like you've had a little trouble. We did. Did you see it? See what? The ship. The, the spaceship. Did you see it? No, ma'am, we didn't. It just passed over. Can we give you some help? No. Thanks. I, I'm waiting for my boyfriend. Where is he? He just went for some help. Honey, are you hurt? Let me tell you what. We'll just go pick up your friend. And we'll carry you both back into town. I mean, you're gonna need a tow truck to get your vehicle out of here. You're right about that. Hop on in, sweetie. terrified. Everything started to expand. I told myself, let go, let go. Fear is fiction, physics is truth. Hold on to science. I panicked. Hey. Bastards from town. They, they, they hit my head. Oh, you know what? We gotta get out of here.
Let me ask you something. Are you gonna kill me, Captain? No, sir. Of course not. You should, if you care at all about your career. I represent the Defense Department. I have delivered orders to Commander Gosner which relieve him of command. He doesn't want that to happen, which is why he told you to hold me in communicado. The point is, he's no longer in charge. I am. Your business is with Gosler. No, sir. Now that I made you aware of the situation, my business is also with you. Now. I want an outside line, and I want it now, goddammit. Or I'll pin your ass to the wall. You stupid, ignorant bastard. You are hash. I will grind you up and crap you out! You can kiss your career goodbye! Damn. Everything's moved up. You must be ready in 12 hours. Can you do it? Too many variables to know. There's no choice. It's now or never. Ah. Uh, well, then there's no further purpose to this discussion. You must survive, my friend. That's the most important thing. Hey, hey! I need to get her to a hospital! What happened? I rode my Suzuki! I don't see a Suzuki. Well, it's back there. I just, we need a ride, please. Do you have any water or anything? Yeah. Thanks. They got her, didn't they? Hey, you know who did this? Visitors. Visitors? They've been getting my cows. Your cows? They mutilate them. Rip out their pussies. What? What did he say? Nothing, honey. Don't worry about it. Just uh, let's not talk about this now. I don't know why they do it. No one does. Those cows, they never bothered anybody anyway. Just rip out their pussies. Shut up. I find them in the fields, no tracks around them. Just an old dead cow with her pussy ripped out. Would you just please let it go? She's pregnant, you know. Pregnant? No. no. Did he say pregnant? Going to have the air, baby. Would you just shut up? You can't do nothing for her. Not anymore. She's theirs now. Now, is there a sheriff in town? No. Nope. Sheriff's over at the county seat. Anyway, he won't help you now. They got him, too. Hey, boss, hey. It's OK. Just watch your step. Watch your step. Right into the right into the right into the They need a doctor. What happened? We had an accident. Uh, that's a bad bump. Maybe a concussion. Uh, that's not from the accident. Sure. I went for help and some men came. Was she right? I'm not sure. Oh, Lord. Uh, why don't you come in here and I'll have the doctor take a look at her as soon as possible. Come on, honey. Come see. Oh, whoa. There's something else. She has lupus. Okay, fill this out and I'll be back as soon as I can. It'll be okay. Thank you. Is he from the fire? No, it's fire the power pole. The wire fell off. He's dead. You just need a doctor to make it official. Put him over there. We'll tend to take the living first. No, I don't know. You want to check him. Maybe he's... Hey, what'd you say happened to that guy? What's your interest? Oh, no interest. No interest at all. I'm just curious. I saw you drive that fella and girl in. Well, they got her. What about him? No, just the girl. You can bring her in now. She was attacked last night. Some idiots checking to see if she was an alien. Last night? Why'd you wait so long to bring her in? 
We had an accident. Listen, Doc, Kate's really sick. She's been diagnosed with some kind of lupus. She on medication? I wrote down everything I know on that chart, including the name of her doctor in Spokane. All right, wait outside. Can I use your phone? I need to call our folks. Things are pretty crazy here right now. Can't tie up the phones. There's a payphone across the street at the diner. She'll be all right until you get back. Can I get a glass of water, please? Uh, the pay phones are out. Can I use yours? I'll pay for the call. Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Uh, operator. Phones are out. Yeah, that happens a lot around here. Hey, when was the last time uh, you ate something? Uh, yesterday. Sit. Okay. Where's your girl? Oh, she's at the clinic. We had an accident. Oh, my God, is she all right? Well, the doctor's still seeing her. So, um, tell me what you saw. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to call it. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It was, uh, it's all purple. Almost, you could almost see through it. You know. And uh, it had tubes everywhere, and this, this, uh, like vapor, white vapor spilling out. Was it on the ground? Did you, did you saw it on the ground? Yeah. You saw it land? No, I saw it take off. Oh my God, you saw it take off. It's the damnedest thing. Oh look, no, it wasn't like an alien ship or anything. Okay, it was on a military base. What did it, what did it look like? Was it was it real bright with lots of lights and stuff? No, it didn't have any lights at all. That's the thing. It was it was this big purple thing you could like see through it. It didn't have any any propellers or engines or anything, and, and it uh, it changed shape when it flew. You know, it had this uh, high pitched whine. How close were you to it? Well, I was, I was close enough that when it came over me, it pinned me to the ground. You think you could take me there? No. Well, when Kate's ready, we are gone. I gotta get out of this town. Mm. Well, it's really weird. There was another guy out there who was killed when he ran into the electric fence. When the medics brought him into the clinic, they said he ran into a power pole. Huh. Why would they say that? I don't know. Look at this. What the hell is that? Huh? Who, who are these crazy people? What the hell do they want? gave her a sedative. He doesn't want to do too much more until he talks to her doctor. Problem is the phones are out. Okay, can I see her? I don't know why not. Hey, beauty. Hey. You look better? I'm sleepy. Good. You rest. 
I'm gonna go get the Suzuki and we're gonna get out of here. Wait, we have to go back. I know, I can't wait to get home. Oh, I'm back out there. Katie, listen to me. That... I saw him. The aliens, their, their ship went right over. I, I need to go back. Oh, Katie, that wasn't... Shh. Andy, don't tell me what it wasn't. You weren't there. I know what I saw. Please believe me just this once. Promise me. We have to go back. Okay. Of all things to ask me. Oh, hey, Doc. Can she leave? Uh, not until I talk to her doctor. The problem is. Oh, I know the phone's around. Right. Take a quick look at this. Oh, okay. Easy. Yes. No, that's not too bad. I don't think it needs stitches. Oh, what's that? It's, it's a precaution. It's a tetanus shot. Oh, no thanks, Doc. Needles are against my religion. We need to do this. No, 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 really. Just watch Kate, okay? And tell her when she wakes up that I went to get the jeep. Hey, I need a radiator hose for an 88 Suzuki coolant to ride. Hey, Tammy, cover for me. Not again. That's all I gotta do. Your friends are following us. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, what the hell are you doing? If you're setting me up, you're dead. Setting you up? You could be one of them. I'm not. They say that they're on their way, but they're already here. We want our women, our children, and they're gonna win, too. Unless we get organized, fight them. That's what we got to do. Expose them. Kill them. That's why they're after me. I don't think the guys in the car are after you. I think they're after me. Why? I saw something I shouldn't have seen. What? A ship. You saw the alien ship? No, oh, alien? It was weird, but it wasn't alien. It was on a military base. You and the girl saw the ship? No, it was just me. Oh, they don't know I was alone. Shit! If they were after me, they're gonna be after Kate. We have to turn around, we have to go back. Not likely. No, we have to go back to Lowell. You can't outrun them. What are you doing? I don't intend to. Getting them into my kill zone.
He's bringing it up! Get it! Get it! He's gonna hit it with a freaking truck! I didn't know you could do that. There's a lot you don't know. I know I need to get back to town. Oh, now what? That's Joyce. Joyce? The waitress from the diner. They got the girl. What? Where would they take her? To their base. Jeez. I gotta get my Suzuki. And do what? Get her. What are you gonna do? Just go on the base and ask the aliens to give you your girl back? Aliens? What the hell are you talking about? Who the hell do you think lives there? You've seen it. You know, stop talking about this shit. Help me out here. They're gonna take you too. Fine, I'll go to the cops or the FBI. No, we've tried that, haven't we, Dietz? Yeah. We've written to Congress, and we've tried the cops and the sheriff. People around here have been trying to get somebody to listen to them for 30 years. But this is different. Oh, why? Because we're the wackos, and you're not. You're one of us now, boy. Who's going to listen to you? Well, I'll go to the base. I'll turn myself in. I'm not going to just leave her there. Wait, wait. Before you do that, what if you were right the first time? Don't ask. Just go get her. Just you and me. But you just said that wouldn't work. Maybe it will. You know where the base is. You've seen the ship. If we're careful, we sneak in, find your girl, and get out the same way we got in. One thing for sure, they wouldn't be expecting that, huh? What do you get out of it? Well, maybe I could snag one of them. Oh, dear. No, no, you know, wouldn't I love to drag one of those alien son of a bitches out here, huh? Put it on CNN. Let the whole world know what we've been dealing with. Okay, but what if we get caught? Hey, you gonna turn yourself in anyway. This would just be another way of doing that. What do you say? Hmm? Nurse! Someone, please help me! Please, is, any, is anyone out there? Please, someone! Someone come! Doctor! Anyone, please! Oh, God! Please, where am I? Where? Can you hear me? Please, please, would you mind telling me where I am? Please. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God.
bastard. Johnson, over here. Let's go. We got a security breach south gate. Come! Come! Jerry bullshit is all about attitude. We're security, goddammit. We ask the questions. I think this is just a bunch of government bull crap. It's a cover. Oh, yeah? This many people? You think not? Then you're the fool, girly boy. Sir. The thing I do like, we're the only ones with guns. I'll be goddamn. Commander Kent, you're needed in zone. Now we're on to something. What are we doing following these guys? This bunch of nonsense. Get it together. You get it together. Please let the coverage team proceed to area 14. Great, how do we find it? How do we find it? What are you men doing here? Captain sent us. This is supposed to be a secure area. Well, why don't you take it up with him? It's for your own safety, assholes. Son of a bitch! You ran over my foot! Sorry. Where's the infirmary? It's that way. Commander Duncan, please report to Zone 4. Commander Duncan, please report to Zone 4. Son of a bitch. What? You, you see this? Son of a bitch. What? Come on, what, what the hell is it? Come on. Look, look, look. See, just see it. It's Kate. I, how do I get in this? How do I open it? You don't! You don't. We need someone with a security card to come and open it for us. No, but I have to get the gate. Look, just stand on the other side like I do. Just do it. Listen, this whole thing is blowing up in our faces. Hang in there. The head of security wants to know why we're holding the girl. Espionage. She broke into a military establishment. Oh, she didn't break in. We brought her in. And you can't keep Hester incommunicado forever. This mission is at a critical phase right now. Let's get through this and I'll fix all that later. We can't. I mean, if it were just you and me and the old man, maybe. But it's not. There's too many asses Girl, on the line. Hang in there with me. This is idiocy. I know. Irv, come on. You've got to do it. OK, OK. Go. What are we expecting, an attack? Uh, just doing what I'm told, sir. By whom? Uh, the captain, sir. Captain Morgan? Yes, sir. Why would he place you here? I don't know, sir. What is it with Morgan, anyway? It's not one thing, it's another. The guy's driving the truck. Commander Kent. Commander Kent. Commander Kent. 
did you find me? It's a long story. Are you all right? A little out of it, but I'm okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. Where am I? A military base. I hope I have the strength. You will. This ends us? Yes. Thank you. I pray this works. You've done your best to make it so. I'm sorry for everything you had to endure. It's all part of the adventure. Everyone will assume that you are me. What are you doing? I'm taking him. You move, you die. I don't care which. I know you. You're the man from the garage. Deans, wait! Don't interfere. You've got your girl. Let it go with that. Please, wait. Let me explain. You'll never survive. I'm leaving. You'll never get away with this. You try and stop me and I'll kill you. Deans, come on. Let's talk this over. I don't have time for this shit. He'll kill you. So what? Now what am I going to do? If I sound the alarm, everything comes out. There's no chance for the flight. If I don't, he dies anyway. I ruined everything. What a waste. What a terrible waste. You care about Adam, don't you? What do you know about it? He talked to me. He told me you're trying to send him home. Yes. We've been working for six years. Now that everything's done, it's all falling apart. Wait. Deeds thinks he's captured a real alien. Once he finds out he hasn't, he'll let him go. You're not listening. He has captured an alien. We get someone to stop these before he hurts Adam. You better tell him to kill him before he gives him up. Kill him? Yeah, he'll kill him. He's psychotic. He's a total wacko and he's got a gun. Can't do that. Can't take that chance. What kind of craziness have I invented? Andy, where would Deeds take him? I don't know, town probably? To town? Yeah, I guess, I don't know, maybe. Why would you take him to town? Well, it's his trophy, think about it, he wants to show him off. I've gotta go. We have to go too. Oh, forget it, we're getting out of here. Andy, you're the only one who knows Deeds, maybe he'll listen to you. Deeds isn't gonna listen to me. Maybe you can try. Damn you, get up! Get up! Ready. Hold the launch. How long? I don't know. What is going on here? Would you listen to me? Hold the launch. Okay. Hold the count. Stop. <sighs> Hurry. Come on, buddy. You're coming with me. A bag, a big one, babe! You see that? A real live, goddamn son of a bitch, an alien! I would never believe it. Dates, honey, he looks like he's having trouble breathing. Probably so. Well, where are you gonna take him? Oh, baby, they laughed at us. They called us crazy. But I'm gonna show him! I've got what every goddamn UFO freak in the world wants! A real live alien! This is a million dollar asset! Dita, if you keep dragging him around like that, you're gonna kill him, honey! So what? Dead or alive? It's still an alien! You wanna see a show, baby? You follow me into town. Come on! <laughs> Tell me about the old man. It's a, it's a long story. Please. Something crashed in the desert about 30 years ago. One of the guys on the investigation team, uh, Mike Epstein, 
realized that what the others thought was condensation was actually a life form. Condensation like, like liquid? Yeah, like liquid. Well, that's all we are, really. liquid in a bag. Anyway, Mike saw what the others didn't. So he, he gathers it up, he nurtures it, guards it. And eventually, he communicates with it. And he learns all kinds of amazing things. Like what? Technical things. About speed. Now tell me, I want to know. To truly cover the vast distances of space, you have to travel at near light speed. And as an object approaches that barrier, it expands. We don't, so we die. But if we were liquid without the bag... Oh, damn. Our bodies would assume another form, a gas. And gas can expand forever. Something like that. And that's possible? Well, for them. The, the ship I saw expanded as it flew off. And it nearly killed me. Anyway, until his death, Epstein worked on replicating the alien ship. Sandy T. Home, right? Exactly. Epstein passed that duty on to me. Why not just leave him here? Because he's dying. Captain Morgan! Captain Morgan, my name is Hester Delt. I am here on official business. If you continue to hold me against my will, there will be a court martial. Yeah, that's right, Captain. Think it over. It's only your fucking career. Not to mention your freedom that's at stake. today. Wait till you see what I got. This is the real deal. I took him off the base just before he was about to fly away. Just come a little closer and look. This is an alien, you idiot. Take a look at what I got here. This is a real alien. You want to be rich, you want to be on TV. This is the real deal. We want to gut him. Oh, no, JT, that ain't gonna happen. We have to do something. They're gonna kill him. Wait. You better shut up for a minute and listen. Kill it, JT. No, the hell you are! I'm gonna put him in a glass case and let the whole world come down to my place to see him. <laughs> What's the matter with you people? Don't you know opportunity no. when you see it? It's staring in the face! Put that away! Get back. No, stay back here. Get, get away. What's the matter with you? This is mine. I told you. Get away. Get away. Stay back. Oh. Oh, yeah. No. Get back. Stupid. No.
Get him into the car. Quickly. Give me that easy. I'll go around. Do what you were gonna do, send him home. I don't know, with everybody knowing who he is. Fuck it, take your shot. What do you mean? Go to the base, slap each in the left seat, and fire it up. That's all I'm saying. We shut it down until I figure out what's going on. Excellent. Here's all the authorization you need. I don't want to die. There's nothing more you can do. Why don't you watch the ship take off? Get that order. Two minutes to count. This is Hester Delt. I have direct orders from the Pentagon. This mission is scrubbed. Shut it down. It's not scrubbed. I have direct Earth. orders from the Open Pentagon. Open hangar doors. Can he hear me on this thing? All station status report. Gosser, if you're here, uh, who's, who's on the bird? The original pilot. I didn't know there was such a thing. Shut it down! Stay with the lawn. Know what's going with on. the lawn. Kiss it goodbye. Everyone, I take full responsibility for this. God, can you hear me on this thing? Last flight. 
Everyone knows you can't stop the last of anything. on that ship? Do you know the damage you've done? I don't know what you're talking about. How am I going to explain this? I'm ruined. Where are you going? You can't walk away now. You come back here. You want this place? You got it. Lock up after you leave. I'm gonna do before I die. Don't say that. I'm serious. I'm gonna write you a bunch of Valentine cards. Okay. Like 50 or 60. But you can only open one a year. That way, at least on Valentine's Day, you won't be alone. That's not too goofy, is it? Yeah, it's not goofy at all. I told Adam how afraid I was to die. To not be here, to, to not be with you. Yeah, what'd he say? He asked me what I wanted. I told him more time. And he said I have all the time I want. The time doesn't end when I leave this world any more than it began when I entered. I don't understand. I didn't either. But then he said that I'm not dying, but that my container is. And that w what's really me doesn't end with the container. Does he mean your soul? I, I think he meant more than that. I, I think he meant my essence. So we don't end? That's what he said. And you know what? I believe him. I love you so much, I'll believe anyone who tells me I'm not gonna lose you forever.
Thank you. 